Jerry here is still trying to get through the pile of projects in D-Lab. Last night, this SVT amp showed up. It has a noise issue, kind of a low level hum that actually causes distortion and it's intermittent. Let me show you what I believe is going on. We'll get it fixed up and you will get a free tech tip out of the deal. Well, here it is, the Ampeg SVT AV amplifier. It runs six 6550 output tubes. It's a real creature feature, probably weighs about 110 pounds or so. And what goes on with these things, because they're built on a circuit board, or should I say multiple circuit boards, they develop bad connections, okay? In this case, the little hum and buzz that we're hearing can be cleared by rocking a switch, so we think, on the back of the amp. But I'm going to show you what that switch is really doing. I have the scope hooked up over here. If I were to tap on it, you can see some excitation on the scope. So that is our issue, okay? And that is what's causing the distortion. So, let me show you the switch on the back, and then we'll pull out the preamp section because that is where the problem is. Now here we are back side of the SVT. I got a dummy load across the speaker output, okay? Now the owner told me that when they get this funny little rumbling or noise, they simply get back here on this polarity switch and they'll sit there and flip this thing back and forth a bunch of times and then they think that seems to clear the issue. Well, this polarity switch is not what you think it is. This is not like a fender amp where you have a switch that changes the polarity of the line input. This polarity switch actually goes to a power supply in the preamp section, which is on the front of the amp. I'll pull that out and show that to you. So when you're flipping this switch, you're not actually clearing the fault. What you're doing is providing a slight power supply shift and that makes the preamp board happy, kind of clears the problem. But the real problem is, is bad connections on that preamp circuit board, okay? Remember guys, on these big old amps, the last thing you want to do is treat them like a TV set, okay? Hey, my channel's not coming in. I'll just bang on it. Oh, look at there, Martha. Yeah, okay, I got it in. Yep, it's clear. No, you don't do that with these amps. And an SVT especially, if you start developing bad connections, it can smoke those output tubes if it's on the main board, okay? So you want to pay very close attention to what's going on with your amp. And if you start developing these problems, don't run it. Fix it. So there we go. Let's kill the standby. Kill the power. Take these screws out. I'm going to pull this upper deck out and I'll show you where the issue is. All right, so I pulled this upper deck out to show you guys the area of concern. So right here, you see these little header type plugs? One of those goes to that rear polarity switch that I was showing you, okay? Down here, there's some diodes, okay? That is actually the power supply. So a little capacitor here, resistors, etc. And this supplies the low voltage DC for these preamp tubes. And that's why they have a polarity switch so you can cancel out hum. Well, what happens is you develop bad connections on these diodes, okay? Now, this issue, you may say, well, how do you know, D-Lab, that that's the problem? Because you haven't even tested it. Well, I have. This actually happened to the same amp about six to nine months ago, and it's starting to do it again. Okay, that's the problem with circuit boards. They grow bad connections. So I'm gonna fire this thing back up and I'm gonna get in here and kind of tweak around. We'll see if we have sensitivity over here again. And then I'll pull the board out and we'll solder again. All right, so it's hard for me to show you where I'm tapping and the scope at the same time, okay? So if I get down here on these diodes, watch the scope. See that? That's the diodes, okay? They're not capacitors. They shouldn't be influencing sound at all, okay? So we obviously have some sensitivity here. 
and I noticed a little sensitivity over here by this preamp tube. Watch the scope. So yeah, we got bad connections on the preamp board. So I'm going to kill it, disassemble this, and that's a lot of fun too because all the wires come through this port and they go everywhere and of course you have to disconnect all the wires to get the board out. Anyway, we'll get that taken care of and maybe I can spot a bad connection and I'll show you that. We'll solder it up and see if our problem goes away. So there's the upper deck removed. Now when you pull this out, pop out this little plastic grommet. Don't try to pull the wires through it. You pop out the grommet and then you just kind of feed things through. She'll go right through that hole. We've got the preamp reinstalled. The amp is powered up. Did my tap test, everything appears normal. One thing I didn't show you is that I did change out the input jacks. I noticed that the contacts on these are a little gray and this rear contact, as you can see here, if I push it, it's not seating against that ground contact. So that could have been inducing noise. May have actually been the problem all along. All right, so the Ampeg SVT is ready to thunder boom again for the band. They actually needed it by Friday night. Brought to me yesterday. Thanks for the heads up, guys. Anyway, it's working great for another period of time. You have to remember, on these big amps like this, circuit board based, when you're moving them around from show to show, they're going to develop bad connections. And also, if you mishandle your cords and hurt those input jacks, that's going to cause some problems too. So I'm sorry guys if I have not been that available and that responsive to your needs. I'm scrambling here at D-Lab. For every one that goes out, two or three come in, like this Collins 32V3. So I'm doing my best. Hang with me.